Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and test fit the 1JZ into the uh, 280Z. Um, I've got the motor mounts. Uh, they're CX Racing uh, designed for this swap, so I'm not too concerned it's not gonna fit, but I uh, just wanna see how it fits and whatnot and how much room I got. And I did modify the trans tunnel, so I kinda wanna make sure that's okay. Um, so yeah, make sure everything everything goes well. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take the stock motor mounts off and uh, get the new ones on and uh, try and uh, put it in as uh, easy as possible. Uh, and try not to scratch anything. So let's get these uh, motor mounts off. All right, so I got this side on. Um, lots of adjustability, which is which is pretty nice. Only thing I'm kind of upset about is there's a little bit of a gap between the bushing here and this uh, this metal piece, so that it's it's kind of at an angle, so the bushings aren't completely flat. So that was just like it got crooked in the welding process or whatnot, um, but. Uh, not too much else to complain about. Alright, so got this motor mount in. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, lift the motor up off the pallet and uh, try and get it in the car. Actually went ahead and pulled the motor back out of the car I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to fit perfectly uh, I just couldn't get both motor mount bolts in there it could be because I have them on the wrong side I don't think so uh, or it could be I might need to uh, connect these two holes here I've seen that sometimes you have to to lower the motor down I might have to do that I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research and make sure so I did pull the motor back out uh, and I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, take like all the stuff on the sides of the motor off and probably the transmission uh, just to make it a lot easier I'll test fit it with all that stuff off of it uh, and I mean uh, it fit I got what I wanted to out of it uh, the, tra the transmission did come up in the uh, the trans uh, like the shifter hole and I there was no fitment issues I just couldn't get the bolts lined up so no uh, no real issues there so I'm gonna go ahead and start disassembling the motor all right well there it is uh, with the uh, exhaust and turbo off had a little bit of trouble with the uh, the feed and the drain I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> I just forgot that the turbo had a feed to it so I had to kind of unloosen that with the, the turbo still on there but uh one of the reasons I was uh, possibly having some trouble getting it to line up and fit exact uh, was I didn't realize how many mounting holes the 1J has for motor, motor mounts so there's one two and then there's uh, well there's one two three four five there's five of them there and this fits like all of them 
so I can slide it all the way up here and it'll it'll line up with four holes so I've got like this much to move the motor so I'm definitely gonna have to mess with that that's probably one of the reasons um, so the goal is the plan is to kind of like clean all of this up um, hopefully I mean clean it up I'm talking all of this possibly paint it valve covers everything so I'm kind of getting started with that uh, I I don't know why I guess I was kind of anxious to put it in the car so I just put it in the car so now I kind of know that each one of these could probably be used and I'll probably be using the ones closest to the front so at least that can got I got got that's a bit of knowledge out of test fitting it but I'm gonna clean it up do what I can hopefully buy a turbo kit I've kind of got one I'm eyeing just got to save up the funds for it and uh, when I buy the turbo kit uh, that's when I'll that'll be down the road just a little bit and hopefully I'll have all of this uh, prepped and ready to kind of go back in uh, and then I'll be able to fit the turbo kit and I'm gonna leave all of this stuff off all of the I mean kind of basically everything you see all the intake the wiring all of it off it's just gonna be the bare block and head and uh, test fit the turbo kit because uh, you know it's it's pretty tight in there and uh, I do have that uh, strut brace so I want to make sure it clears that so leave all of this off just have the turbo kit test fit that and then that'll be easier take the take the transmission off and just have the block it'll be a lot easier to do it then so that's kind of the plan so I'm just gonna go ahead and work and kind of take all this part Okay, wow, that is really hard to do when you're by yourself. But I finally got the intake off. Um, if you're not familiar with Jay-Z Motors, they have like this uh, big block where all the wires are. This is, would be like their way of wire tucking. But all of these wires are uh, bolted up in the middle of that so you can't really see them nor get to them. Uh, so yeah, half some of the wires are ran through the pipes. So. Even after you unscrew it, you gotta like feed the wires through. But uh, here is the mess. Uh, yeah, that was a pain to do by myself, but uh, now it should be pretty straightforward since everything is uh, out in the open. So I'm gonna go, going to go ahead and uh, see if I can take the uh, wire harness off. There it is. Uh, spent a little bit more time after that last little clip uh, taking things off. Got the serpentine belt off and the uh, power steering and the uh, AC. Uh, I plan on not running either of them. So I'm gonna kinda see what they have that I can replace those two with so I can delete them. Uh, as far as I know, I haven't really seen anybody delete the uh, uh, power steering, but I think I did glance at something to delete both of those, so I'll have to look it up um, because my plan is to run electric power steering uh, integrated with the steering column, and I already have it bought. I just got to kind of cut the steering shaft and uh, put it in, but uh, it's another day. So here's the driver's side, pretty much all cleaned up. Uh, not too much else to do over here. Um, I guess kind of the next thing to do is to uh, disconnect the transmission, the starter, and all that, and put it up on an engine stand. Um, now, I'm not going to be going through everything. I'm not going to touch the bottom end on this unless something crazy happens, but uh, I just plan on uh, kind of cleaning everything uh, and just giving it a once over, putting new seals in it, rubber where it needs it, and uh, uh, 
yeah pretty much it so i'm, I'm kind of kind of refurbish it put some new stuff on it injectors and whatnot and uh go from there new timing belt and whatnot but uh that's where i'm going to end it tonight look at the look at the garage it's a it's a mess tools everywhere bolts just one of those nights where uh i mean you get in the zone and you just take everything apart and uh everything goes everywhere and then uh the next day is the dreaded pickup where you got to put all the tools back so uh, that's kind of what's coming next so hand, hands are all dirty uh yeah this motor's oily i think it has something to do with uh maybe when it was shipped over all the motors stacked on top of each other one probably i mean who knows what happened but i i have a feeling with how oily this thing is some oil dropped on top of it and then maybe the uh sellers pressure washed it and didn't get all of it but either way i'm going to put new seals on it and whatnot so yeah thanks for watching uh appreciate you guys staying with me and i'll see you in the next one